What's going on, everybody? My name is Mark, and we are here with the finale of Andor. I don't want to waste too much time on the intro, because I just want to jump into the episode. Um, I think it's going to be a pretty crazy one, because it seems that everything is going to converge in the same location, Cyril and the Empire and Luthen's crew and, and Cassian are probably all going to go to the funeral of Marva, who died in the last episode, or at least off screen in the last episode. So that should be a wild one. Um, I do want to get a little bit onto like how I've liked the show so far. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go more in depth in the outro, but I, you know, I, I got a lot of pretty, you know, a pretty good amount of comments, you know, not talking shit per se, but they weren't really pleased that I didn't really like the first episodes of the show and I did want to address that um, you know if I don't like something and you do that's totally fine uh, we don't have to like the same things um, but yeah I think uh, the, the first half of the show was absolutely not really good um, I think there were some good moments and I think like the third episode and the sixth episode were pretty good and the first episode was fine you know it, it needed to establish a whole lot obviously but it, the other episodes were very forgettable but from seven till now all have been very good or at least good M maybe some of them very good and some just good but definitely a step in the right direction as far as the Star Wars shows have been concerned because you know Obi-Wan personally didn't like it at all uh boba fett had some pretty good moments but overall not what we wanted from it um uh, i think so yeah cassian definitely a step in the right direction i hope it can continue to make good star wars content and uh yeah without further ado let's jump into the episode i hope you guys like my reaction if you do please leave a like it really helps me out and if you want to see me react to some more star wars content coming in the future make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos other than that, I don't have anything else to say, so let's watch it. I look, I look absolutely terrible in hats. Should I just try it for this video? No, I have the Star Wars hat on. I usually have it on, on in the background. <laughs> but hats, I, my, my hat's too small. But maybe with the headset it doesn't... I'm just gonna try it for this video. <laughs> That um, that one guy's son. I don't know. It kind of looked like the son of the the guy who was manning the station at Ferrix, I believe. That's an Imperial cruiser. Who's on that? Usually people of importance. The lighting is very good in, in this. Oh, of course, it's her. With some death troopers in the background too. Where the heck are we? Is this Ferrix? Oh, I think so. Does he know about Marvel? Yeah, he does now. It was a very short conversation. He asked about funerals. Let's walk. Yeah, they're gonna be on the lookout now too. It'd be insane to come back now. I hope you told him that. Like I said, it was a very short call. Yo, he's definitely gonna show up. Would be a very boring finale if not. I keep I keep forgetting her name. What is he building? Some sort of weapon, maybe? Communication device? I don't know. Gotta feel for Cassian. I'd be losing my mind. He's uh, vetting for information, I think. Yeah, he's trying to get him drunk. He was he was uh, glancing at them when they were having a conversation. So. We'll have another round. Yeah, this guy is probably working for the Empire or something. 
that's the guy uh, who Cassian had works with in the first episode. It's a lie. It's total fantasy. Who's telling you this? Please. Yeah. No, He's uh, Karen, please. spying in on them. This is wrong, Mom. This is people trying to take you down by coming after me. I mean, so far he's not hearing anything significant. Where would I get the money? That's the question that scares me the most. Not that nothing that that um, is bad for Mom, anyway. I feel like Mom Mothma knows that the driver is not to be trusted, right? So she wouldn't say anything that you couldn't really say when there's someone that close to you. Is that big to... Yeah, big big place. Who's that? That's some messed up looking dogs. Where is she? Cass. Where is she? I wonder if they they are keeping her around hoping that Cassie will try to bust her out or something. And then remember this. The Imperial need for control is so desperate because it is so unnatural. Who is the, doing this voiceover? Tyranny requires constant effort. It breaks. It leaks. Is, is that one of the guys from Aldani? I don't remember their names, but was it that that younger guy? When all these skirmishes and battles, who died uh, with you know the box that crushed him? I think so. One single thing will break the siege. Nemec. Yeah, I think it is him. A local annoyance. Your control positions here, here, and here. We'll have snipers in the containment unit there. You know what I like about this show? It, it it shows that the Empire is pretty competent too, you know? I mean, in the past we've seen a lot of, you know, especially with the Stormtrooper, obviously, you know, they're missing their targets and stuff. Um, but their plan's not working and all that. But in this show, they definitely show that, you know, the Empire is definitely a force to be reckoned with. So I do I do enjoy that. Makes it, you know, feel like a much scarier presence. Was she more angry about him lying or the possibility of gambling debts? Hard to say. Mon oh, he's working for him. Here. Okay. She called in. He's been talking her down. I just wish I had been part of the conversation. Dedra, that's her name. Thank you, uh, the subtitles. You're missing the point. Today was about wiping the taste of Aldani from the Emperor's mouth. You want to start a conversation? Find access. Yeah, that was that whole um, thing that they planned with the, the ship that crashed and all that. Is that his uh, friend? Yeah. Tell him. I love him more than anything he could ever do wrong. It's nice that he uh, got to hear her last moments. Vix, we still got friends in the hotel. She was alive three days ago. Why are they keeping her? She must know something. Yeah, or it's uh, it's bait. I think it's bait, man. Yeah, he's keeping tabs on it for uh, the Empire, I think. How is this possibly good? They'll do the hunting for us. They'll want him alive, they'll find him, and we'll kill him. Oh. They want to kill Cassian, probably because of the information that he has. We just need him dead before they start asking questions. Yeah, they, that's possible too, I guess. He's not doing his little dance uh, ceremony. Why is everyone so surprised? 
Like this was the plan, no? <laughs> the funeral. Just not seeing it. We started. They're coming from all over town. I want everything out here. Uh, so there's too many people. They're not doing it as planned. Damn. It's a good beer day, apparently. He's got a good vantage point, though. Where no one can see him and he can see everyone. Double the reward. You found him. I want twice as much and a ride out of here when it's over. Where is he? Pretend you're arresting me. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Hey, move it! Yeah, this is gonna cover his ass, you know. Then he can just talk to him without anyone knowing. And if if he, you know, is gonna say, yeah, I did tell them the stuff that I knew, it's because I was being tortured or something like that, you know. He's like, my love. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people. It's gotta be like 200, something like that. You gotta be stealthy AF to uh, sneak up on uh, Cassian here, I think. But the music is, you know, overshadowing the sound a, a bit, I guess. It would be kind of nice if uh, some sort of like riot broke out because then everyone would be distracted and casting could get bigs out. Feel as if I can see you. I was six, I think. First time I touched a funerary stone. I'm glad she's, get, she's getting a little bit more screen time. She was great. Holding my sister's hand as we walked all the way from Fountain Square. Talking about my, 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 my love. Wonder if he's hearing that and he's kind of like regretting giving up Andor. Oh. We've had each other and Ferrix. So you're gonna inspire them to, uh. Drive the Empire off their planet? Into every, into everything around us. We let it grow, and now it's here. Hopefully it doesn't cut off because of some sort of like communication disruption. But they're not gonna like this, I think. It's easy for the dead to tell you to fight. I'm honestly surprised that they're not trying to turn it off. Perhaps it's too late. She wants to become a martyr or something. Inspire them to to fight. And be fighting these bastards <laughs> from the start. Fight the Empire! Oh, that that's a fighting action, man. You can't be throwing around a droid that everyone loves. Not the merchandise. Shield wall. That that kid has uh, a bomb of some sort, right? I'm assuming he's gonna use that soon. Where is he gonna throw that? Oh my God! Is he gonna save Dedra? That's a lot of grenades. Damn. Talk about fireworks at a funeral. That's an explosive end if I ever seen one. Come. Come. Hey. 
she meet up with Cinta yet, or? Seems to be on her own. Don't let him take him. Yeah. I think he might get shot, though. Oh, Cinta's still following uh, the Imperial. The Ice B guy. Did you just stab him? Yep. Well, so much for information. Oh, he's dragging him to safety. Okay, I was. I thought maybe the Empire was dragging him away. Oh, it's that guy. He didn't make it. Ooh, that is a big explosion. Or blaster shot. Oh. Even Dead Org got hit by with something. Oh my god! This is Pharynx, bitch! <laughs> got a Spartan kick! Oh. Is this the end for Dedra? You dead, bruh! Oh! Cyril's gonna save her. Yeah. Every move you make, I'll be watching you. Yeah, that would be nice. He's never been more erect, I think. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, they got him to safety? Nice. What's going on? Cassian? Cassian! Oh, nice. You're not coming? Stay low all the way Is he gonna to confront Luthen? Because he did water, see him. You climb. Maybe he wants to fight the Empire for real this time? Okay, guys. Go, go, go. I'll find you. Now go! Go, go! Exactly. Empire's not far behind. He's uh, just going to leave? I feel like Cassian caught up to him though. He's probably on board. Yep. Told you. Kill me. Or take me in. That is a choice. Yeah. I mean, we know what he's going to end up doing. Alright. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a uh, after credit scene. So let me take a quick peek. Yep, there is. Here we go. Those are some interesting droids. Are those the things that they were building at the prison? Oh. It's the Death Star. They were building parts for the Death Star in that prison. That's cool. That's a cool tie-in. Nice. Okay. Is that everything? Yeah, that's all. So that was the finale for Andor. Um, it was a good finale. I, uh, I mean, it. Nothing really. There weren't any like twists. I think we you could pretty much, um, what do you call it? Predict what was gonna happen. You know, we knew that everyone was converging at the same place. We knew that Andor was gonna show up eventually, 
and then he was going to try to rescue Bix and obviously being taken in by the rebellion. So all of that was pretty predictable, I will say. But, you know, it was uh, still pretty pretty well done. I, I liked the, the whole uh, funeral scene and uh, the speech that Marva gave on her hologram. I did like that as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I like that little uh, tie-in at the end uh, with the after credit scene where it showed that they were actually building parts for the Death Star, which is really interesting. So the fact that they all escaped was a, a significant hit to the Empire, I feel like. I mean, they probably got more places where they're doing the same stuff, but I think uh, it's definitely... Uh, definitely you know slowed the process down a little bit anyway um i think there's gonna be a season two we didn't get k2so by the way which absolutely surprised me i definitely thought when the show was announced that that it was also announced that uh and no what was his name frick why can't i think of this guy's name the guy who played wash in in firefly god I can't think of his name now, but K2SO, I thought, you know, that actor, I thought he, uh, he was announced too, but damn, I got misled so bad, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, we got a different droid, obviously, with B2. He was, uh, he was a good droid. I, uh, I enjoyed him, you know, I think it, it is a pretty, pretty good, you know, it's a staple for Star Wars to have a sassy droid or, or you know, a little companion droid, and I think they pretty much nailed it with him. He's different enough, you know. He has his own little manners and and all and uh, design to it as well. So I did like that. Um, but overall, the show, like I said at the start, I didn't really enjoy the first six episodes. You know, there were some good episodes in there, but most of the episodes pretty forgettable. Um, but the last half of the season definitely worth it and I think personally what they should have done was make a 10 episode uh, series and therefore they could have you know condensed the episodes a little bit at the start you know for the maybe the first and second episode you know combined that and the second or third combined that and then you have instead of three episodes you have two episodes and everything would just you know pace better I feel like and you could do that with the second arc too because there was a lot of very slow build-up, very slow build-up, and not not a whole lot happening. And again, it you know if if the dialogue is interesting enough, that's totally fine. I mean, House of the Dragon, Rings of Power. There was plenty of you know dialogue-heavy scenes or Game of Thrones where there wasn't a whole lot happening, but the dialogue was just so well written, or you know there the the things that they were talking about you know, it all led to something. And I feel like they didn't really nail that in the first half of the show anyway. So yeah, I do, I do have to critique them for that. Um, and another thing that I didn't really enjoy, I mean, after watching multiple episodes, I kind of got over it, but there were so many British people in this and <laughs> no offense to British people. I love England, but um, I don't know. It, there were so many British people that it kind of, I don't know, it, it it kind of didn't feel like Star Wars anymore. And there were so many humans as well. There was not a whole lot of aliens. And I, I, I've seen this, you know, being critiqued by other people as well. Um, and from what I've heard from the showrunners is that, you know, it was just cheaper and easier to do. But, you know, the, the easier solution is not always the best solution. Let, let's just keep it at that, you know, like... You need you need aliens in the background or alien characters that you're interacting with, and you know Han, Luke, and Leia were all not British people. You know, obviously the Empire is going to have British people. I mean, they're they're kind of known for that, but you you need to kind of vary it a little bit. I feel like I mean, not all of them were British, obviously, but a lot of them were, and I don't know. I, honestly, for me, it, it just it kind of threw me off a little bit. That being said, I think the music was pretty good for the show. I think the uh, you know the outfits, the lighting, the cinematography was also pretty good. 
some some better than others but you know definitely uh definitely you know very good um i think it was really nice to see coruscant again um obviously the last time that we saw it was i think if we're not counting the animated shows i think episode three so it's really nice to you know be back in live action coruscant seeing how the empire is doing there you know we've never really seen the empire on their home world essentially so that was really interesting um and i wonder if we're gonna jump into that to that in bad batch too now that camino is gone maybe we're gonna see some more you know of the empire side on coruscant too because that would be pretty interesting um which i can't wait for by the way bad batch that's gonna be amazing absolutely love the first season um and the one thing i, I will say as well is that I don't know I, I personally had a lot a very hard time remembering characters names and that's why I also put on subtitles in the later episodes because I kept forgetting them you know usually when I watch shows I watch multiple episodes you know simultaneously but but you know watching them weekly you know every time there's a week pass and I can't remember any names you know and that's why I put on the subtitles, because then at least it would, you know, I would read the name every time too, and you know, trigger my mind to to remember them. But either the characters just don't use the names a lot, and therefore it's hard to to remember, or maybe it's just me. Maybe it's my it's me personally. But sometimes I would go on Facebook or something like that, and I would see like you know a post about a certain character you see the character's name and i was like wait is that the character's name what so yeah i don't know if, again i don't know if it's me maybe it's just me but um definitely uh something that i wanted to point out uh character that i really enjoyed in this was dedra i think she did a great job as this imperial officer woman who is very ambitious i think the the actress just nailed it personally and i think she was just a very nice villain a very you know different villain that we that we usually get so i want to applaud them for that because doing a villain is absolutely very difficult as we've seen in the previous stars content and in you know marvel content too you know making a good villain is definitely not easy and uh, i think they they got it really right with uh with her i mean maybe we could have used even got more screen time if you know some of the other characters didn't get as much i didn't really like the Cyril character you know he had he had promise at the start but then when this whole like he's in love with her thing got introduced i i was totally put off and his mother too like i didn't really enjoy that aspect of the show honestly like he, he they could have written him out of the show completely and just focus on dedra a lot more i think i would have enjoyed that a lot more personally but I'm going to stop rambling. Um, I want to know what you guys liked uh, about the show. I know a lot of people have praised this show from episode one. So I'm curious what your thoughts were on the first half of the show. Because, again, like I said, me personally, I didn't really enjoy it. I thought it was very much like Book of Boba Fett. Very, you know, not a whole lot happening. It was very slow paced. Um, but again, like I said, 7 to 12, definitely picked it up and even the slower episodes were still very engaging and very good so let me know what you thought about it um and are you looking forward to bad batch and mandalorian season three obviously that's coming up next year um because i definitely am make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my reactions to that um also if you like my reaction please leave a like because it really helps me out you know get a bigger audience and uh that we can engage a lot more in the comments too other than that i don't have anything else to say i hope you have a great day may the force be with you and take care